Hey my loves, welcome back for another video. Today we're going to be playing in a 12 inch bob. She came courtesy of Hair and Beauty and this is her straight out of the pack. Now she has a slight wave just from the way you know it was shipped. This is the way she looks on the inside. So we're going to go ahead and remove my previous wig as always and we're going to clean the surface or the hairline to prep for our new install. Now the best thing to use is alcohol in my opinion, but you know, if you want to use something else, there are pretty much glue removers and different other options you can use. This one just seems to be the easiest access and just easiest in general overall. Now this is what the wig looks like on initially. Um, it definitely needs some work as far as customization, but you know, we're up for the task. So one thing I'll say is that I wish that the lace had a little bit more parting. But we're going to go ahead and perfect it by adding our lace tint of choice. And this is linked in the description box with everything else. This wig has four combs in the inside. And yeah. Now one big mistake I made and you will see is I did not blow dry. Every time you see me use this lace tint I always blow dry it. And I try to skip that step and you can see that on my hairline. We're going to clean it up by the end of the video, but just know that you have to, if you use the lace tint that I use, you have to blow dry it or allow it to air dry. And also make sure that you use a thinner coat, not a thick coat, because this, if you don't know how to clean it, it's going to be a super messy install. But I'm kind of happy it happened. I almost, you know, cleaned it up and started all over just to avoid the mistake, but I realized, you know, a lot of um, you know people who view my videos are beginners and make mistakes such as this so it would be great to show you guys how I bring it all together in the end so initially I just wiped what I could get off with a um, rag a dry rag and then I went in with rubbing alcohol and as you guys can see I was able to remove it completely now I applied my adhesive, adhesive of choice and this is the got to be glued free spray Went ahead and made sure it's not running or dripping down my makeup. Let it get tacky for about 20 to 30 seconds and then I applied the lace on top. Now take your time. Don't just, you know, put it on top of the adhesive and walk away. You definitely will want to spend a couple of minutes just using your fingers and or a rat tail comb to, um, you know, apply the lace to your skin and allow it to get dry without moving. I also used the gel version that I love so much on the sideburns to help them to stick a little bit better. But you guys know me, I ended up cutting them off when it was all said and done. Now one thing I will say, because the lace tint was still wet, it did make for, you know, a messy install even underneath the lace. So again, if you're going to use a lace tint, make sure that it's completely dry. And in general, just make sure that your lace is dry before you apply it or bond it because wet lace never bonds as well as dry lace So we went ahead and applied a good heat protectant and then we also straightened out the bob and now that the hair has had time to dry along the hairline I'm taking a little bit more rubbing alcohol and doing my job to go ahead and clean up all of the residue that may be along the hairline. Again you will not have this problem and I have done this um, 
you know this routine a million times but again if you do not allow it to get dry it's messy but you know if you know how to work with it and make sure you blow dry it it does not look this bad trust and believe although I am going to be looking for a new lace tint because I am ready to start trying to just use the normal um, spray lace tints that I see everyone use so if you know of a good brand hit me at my DMs and let me know what brand you use for lace tint and we're going to go ahead and work on the crown of the head and the parting. Again, I'm not sure how many inches this um, parting is. I would say it's about three inches of parting. Um, I wish it was four to six. That is my favorite. Nonetheless, you can't work with it and you don't really even miss it in the end. And you'll see how beautiful this way comes out. I just used a little bit of wax around the crown to, um, you know, hold the hair down and to give it any flyaways and make it look nice and sleek. And then I'm going to use my electric hot comb to go ahead and press out the roots all the way around, even along the hairline, so that the hair appears to be melted. Now we're going to work on the baby hair. This time around I did opt for baby hair along the entire hairline. And because this one was already pre-plucked, it worked out amazing. This is a 12 inch bob if I forgot to mention. On the website it comes in I believe 8 inches, 10 inches, 12 inches and 14. And again I got the 12 inch which sits really nice. This is like my safe. Whenever I want a bob and I want to be able to wear it for a long time and really make it low maintenance, 12 inch bob comes like to a perfect length on me to where you have the bob look but it's not too short, not too long. A 10 inch is more of a right above the shoulders or at the shoulders and an 8 inch is always more like maybe like a Dora Bob situation. If ever I get a 14 inch that's kind of when I will take that one and customize it into like an asymmetrical bob. Nonetheless these are very very affordable. If you click the link in my description box to this wig, you will see that the 8 inch is right around the $50 mark, which is super affordable. And I believe it goes up to like the $80 mark. So you really, really can't beat that with a bat. Super duper affordable. I'm sure this one is in everybody's budget and it's super gorgeous, as you guys can see for yourself. So while I'm rambling, you guys can see I went ahead and did baby hair all the way around. I think that was a good choice for this look. This bob is super classy and sleek, but I just wanted to add my own touch to it. If you do not like baby hair, trust and believe this one will look amazing without baby hair or even, you know, my normal two little swoops, one on each side will look amazing. This one is definitely, um, you know, safe as far as any type of hairline you want to do and again it is pre-plucked just enough so that you don't have to worry about um, tweezing it out if you are uncomfortable. Here I added a little bit of serum just to make it a little bit more sleek. I know when I add a serum sometimes it looks like oh you put too much or it's a little bit too shiny or a little bit too way down but by the end of the video you always see that it always um, absorbs nicely and I end up with a perfect perfect install. Here I've added a little bit of holding spray. I kind of want to show off the baby hair and kind of have a little bit of a waterfall going on each side in the front and so the holding spray is going to help with that as well as the flat iron and hot comb. We're pretty much done here. I just like to finesse and crimp and make it as perfect as possible and I kind of work on it until I am super satisfied even if it looks like it's done. Here I'm adding a contour powder to go ahead along the entire hairline and the parting just to make it match my skin and my makeup super perfect. And that's pretty much it. This wig is definitely school friendly, work friendly, mom friendly. It can be your mom bob. This one is definitely versatile. It's not too thick and dense. I don't believe a bob should be super thick and dense in my opinion, but it's also not like thin and sparse. So make sure you check out Hair and Beauty for this super gorgeous and affordable bob. Everything I use is listed in the description bar as well as links to shop. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!